हेलो रिफान एंड वेलकम बैक टू नीटोपीडिया दैट इज नीट का एनसाइक्लोपीडिया एंड वी आर बैक विद biology audio books after a long time and the chapter that we have selected today is animal kingdom you can check out all our biology audio books on our playlist or just click on that i button and you'll get the link to it and also before we start i would like to inform you one thing that on our telegram channel we are conducting quiz every morning the quiz is just of four questions with one question per subject that is one question from physics chemistry botany and zoology each and these फोर क्वेश्चन आर वेरी प्रोन टू सिली मिस्टेक्स लाइक ऐसे क्वेश्चन में अक्सर बच्चे सिली मिस्टेक कर बैठते हैं एंड एंड अप गेटिंग नेगेटिव मार्किंग इन दोज क्वेश्चन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बूस्ट योर स्कोर इन नीट एंड टू नॉट वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज योर नेगेटिव मार्किंग यू शुड डेफिनेटली चेक आउट आर क्विज एंड अटेंड दोज थिंग द लिंक ऑफ द टेलीग्राम चैनल इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन और यू कैन जस्ट सर्च नीट ऑफ एंड यूल गेट इन नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग अर टाइम लेट्स बिगेन चैप्टर फोर एनिमल किंगडम When you look around you'll observe different animals with different structures and forms as over a million of species of animals have been described till now the need for classification becomes all the more important the classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species 4.1 basis of classification in spite of differences in structure and form of different animals there are fundamental features common to various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cells body symmetry nature of cell home patterns of digestive circulatory or reproductive systems these features are used as the basis of animal classification and some of them are discussed here 4.1.1 levels of organization though all members of animalia are multicellular all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells for example in sponges the cells are arranged as loose aggregates that is they exhibit cellular level of organization some division of labor occur among the cells in cnidaries the arrangement of cells is more complex here the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues hence is called tissue level of organization a still higher level of organization that is organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminthes and other higher phyla where tissues are grouped together to form organs each specialized for a particular function in animals like annelids arthropods mollusk echinoderms and chordates organs have associated to form functional systems each system concerning with a specific physiological function this pattern is called organ system level of organization Organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns and complexities. For example, the digestive system in platyhelminthes has only a single opening to the outside of the body and that serves as both mouth and anus. Hence it is called incomplete. Please note that this is also called the blind sac body plan. You can add it as an extra point in your NCERT. A complete digestive system has two openings, mouth and anus. Similarly the circulatory system may be of two types please note the other type is called tube within tube body plan please supplement it in your ncert as previous questions one or two are on that number 1 open type in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it number 2 closed type in which blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters like arteries veins and capillaries 4.1.2 symmetry Animals can be categorized on the basis of the symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical that is any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into two halves. When any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves it is called the radial symmetry. Cnidaries, ctenophores and echinoderms have this kind of body plan. Animals like annelids, arthropods etc where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves by only one plane exhibit bilateral symmetry 4.1.3 diploblastic and triploblastic organization animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers an external ectoderm and internal endoderm are called diploblastic animals for example cnidaries an undifferentiated layer called mesoglea is present in between the ectoderm and endoderm those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer mesoderm in between the ectoderm and endoderm are called triploblastic animals that is from platyhelminthes to chordates 4.1.4 coelom 
The presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification. The body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called siloam. Animals possessing siloams are called siloamate. Example: annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates and chordates. In some animals the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm instead the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm such a body cavity is called pseudocilome and the animals possessing them are called pseudocilomates for example ascelminthes the animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acilomate example platyhelminthes 4.15 segmentation in some animals the body is externally and internally divided into segments with serial repetition of at least some organs for example in earthworm the body shows this pattern called metametic segmentation and the phenomena is called metamerism 4.1.6 notochord notochord is a mesodermally derived rod like structure formed on the dorsal side using embryonic development in some animals animals with notochord are called chordates and those which do not form the structure are called nonchordates for example porifera to echinoderms 4.2 classification of animals the broad classification of animalia based on common fundamental features as mentioned in preceding sections is given in figure 4.4 now please note that this particular figure is a you know short kind of short notes for the entire chapter the basic brief explanation of everything is in this diagram so please note that you go through this flow chart every time you revise the chart 4.2.1 phylum porifera members of this phylum are commonly called as sponges they are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals please note the word mostly asymmetrical as some of the sponges also show symmetry so if there is a option like all sponges are asymmetrical or something be careful in those kind of questions moving further These are primitive multicellular organisms and have cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores or stia in the body wall into a central cavity, sponge seal, from where it goes out through oscula. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, the respiratory exchange and removal of waste. Quinocytes or colocells line the sponge seal and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sexes are not separate. That is, it is hermaphrodite. That is, the eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce sexually by fragmentation. Sorry, asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect, having larval stage in which morphologically distinct from adult. Examples of these are cycon which is commonly called scypha spongula which is a freshwater sponge new spongia or a bath sponge now please add one more example that is euplectella called as venus flower basket as this has been asked in previous year question if you solve the 30 years past year papers 4.2.2 phylum cylindrata or cnidaria they are aquatic mostly marine sessile or free living and radially symmetrical animals The name Nidaria is derived from the seen nidoblast or nidocytes which contain the stinging capsules or nematocyst present on the tentacles and the body. Nidoblast are used for anchorage, defense and for the capture of prey. Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening mouth on hypostome. Digestion is extracellular and intracellular. Some of the nidarians example corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Nidarians exhibit two types of body forms called polyp and medusa. The former is sessile and cylindrical form like hydra, adamsia etc whereas the latter is umbrella shaped and free swimming like aurelia or jellyfish. Those nidarians which exist in both forms exhibit alternation of generation which is called metastasis. That is polyp produces medusa sexually and medusa forms polyp sexually for example obelia now i'm giving you a trick right here in this video for remembering this process take it as mps physics mein hum log padhte hai na most probable speed mps so here also mps that is medusa to polyp is a sexual process so 
polyp to medusa will always see be asexual process so remember mps polyp to med sorry medusa to polyp sexual process and polyp to medusa asexual process remember this word mps moving further with the examples physalia is called the portuguese man of war adamsia sea anemone penatilla sea pen gorgonia sea fan and meandrina brain coral corals if you remember the great barrier reef corals were present there in the australian great barrier reef now if you want the examples mnemonics for the examples or how to retain those examples for a long period of time please let me know in the comment section below i'll provide you that too or drop a message on telegram 4.2.3 phylum tenophora tenophores commonly known as sea walnuts or corn jellies are exclusively marine radially symmetrical diploblastic organism with tissue level of organization the body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion digestion is both extracellular and intracellular bioluminescence the property of living organisms to emit light is well marked in tenophores sexes are not separate reproduction takes place only by sexual means fertilization is external with indirect development example pleurobachia and tenoplena 4.2.4 phylum platyhelminthes they have dorso ventrally flattened body and hence are called flatworms these are mostly endoparasite found in animals including human beings Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and acellulomate animals with organ level of organization. Hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms. Some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface. Specialized cells called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. Some members like Planaria possess high regeneration capacity. Examples are tinea that is tapeworm, fasciculia that is liver fluke. Now note the example planaria here as it possesses high regeneration capacity and if you cut this planaria it can regenerate into a whole new organism. So note it down important point. 4.2.5 phylum Ascalmenthes. The body of Ascalmenthes is circular in cross section hence the name round worms. They may be free living aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals. Round worms have organ system level of body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and pseudocoelomate animals. Elementary canal is complete with a well developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body waste from the body cavity through excretory pore. Sexes are separate that is dioecious that is male and females are distinct. Often females are longer than males. fertilization is internal and development may be direct the young ones resemble the adult or indirect examples are ascaris that is round worm vocularia that is filaria worm and encyclostoma that is hook worm 4.2.6 phylum annelida they may be aquatic marine and freshwater or terrestrial free living and sometimes parasitic they exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented, and coelomate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metameres, and hence the phylum name Annelida. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles, which help in locomotion. Aquatic annelids like Nereids possesses lateral appendages, parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia help in osmoregulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia connected by lateral nerves to double ventral nerve cord. Nereis is an aquatic form and is dioecious, but earthworm and leeches are monoecious, and reproduction is sexual. Please note down the example Nereis as it is the only dioecious organism present in this phylum, and it has been asked frequently in previous year questions. Example Nereis, Ferretima that is earthworm, and Hirudinaria that is the blood sucking leech. 4.2.7 phylum arthropoda this is the largest phylum of animalia which includes insects over 2/3 of all named species on earth are arthropods they have organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic segmented and coelomate animals the body of arthropods is covered by chitinous exoskeleton the body consists of head thorax and abdomen they have jointed appendages 
रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन आर गिल्स बुक गिल्स बुक लंग्स और फैक्यूल सिस्टम सर्क्यूलेटरी सिस्टम इज ऑफ ओपन टाइप सेंसरी ऑर्गन लाइक एंटीना आई स्टैटोसिट्स और बैलेंसिंग ऑर्गन आर प्रेजेंट Excretion takes place through malpighian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal and they are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Examples of economically important insects are apis that is honey bee, bombyx that is silkworm, lacifer that is lac insect. Vectors are Anopheles, Culex and Aedes which are mosquitoes. Now please note that Anopheles causes malaria, Culex causes Filaria and Aedes causes dengue or chikungunya. Gregarious pest Locusta or Lucus. If you remember the locust attack on India last year. Living fossil Limulus king crab. 4.2.8 phylum Mollusca. This is the second largest animal phylum. Mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic. having an organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animals body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular foot and visceral hump a soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump the space between the hump and the mantle is called mantle cavity in which feather like gills are present they have respiratory and excretory functions the anterior head region has sensory tentacles The mouth contains a fine-like rasping organ called the feeding, called radula. They are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development. Examples are pila, that is apple snail, pinctada, that is pearl oyster, sepia, that is cuttlefish, lolico, that is squid, octopus, that is devilfish, aplysia, see here, dentalium, tusk shell, and cheiroptera, that is chiton. 4.2.9 Phylum Echinodermata. These animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and hence the name Echinodermata. All are marine with organ system level of organization. The adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but the larva are bilaterally symmetrical. Please highlight this line as this is a very important line from this particular section. They are triploblastic and coelomate animals. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower ventral side and anus on the upper dorsal side. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate, reproduction is sexual, fertilization is usually external, development is indirect with free swimming larva. Examples are Asterias that is starfish, Echinus or sea urchin, Antidon or sea lily, Cucumeria or sea cucumber and Ophiura that is brittle star. Phylum Hemichordata Hemichordata was earlier considered as subphylum under the phylum Chordata but now it is placed as a separate phylum under non-chordata Hemichordates have rudimentary structure in the column region called the stomochord a structure similar to notochord This phylum consists of a small group of worm-like mini animals with organ system level of organization They are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animals The body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis, a collar and a long trunk. Please pay a special attention on the diagram of this hemichordate because this has been asked several times in the previous year questions. Circulatory system is of open type. Respiration takes place through gills. Excretory organ is proboscis gland. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external and development is indirect. Examples are balanoglossus and sacoglossus. Phylum Chordata Animals belonging to phylum Chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord and a paired pharyngeal gill slit. These are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate with organ system level of organization. They possess a small post-annual tail and a closed circulatory system. Table 4.1 represents a comparison of salient features of chordates and non-chordates. Please go through this table very carefully as this is a very important summary for the chordate and non-chordate differentiation phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla eurochordata or tunicata cephalochordata and vertebrata subphyla eurochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates and are exclusively marine in eurochordata notochord is present only in larval tail while in cephalochordata it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout the life
Examples of Eurocordata are Ascidia, Salpa, Doliolum, and Cephalochordates are Branchiostoma, that is also called Amphioxus or Lancelet. The members of subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period. The notochord is replaced by cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in adult. Thus, all vertebrates are chordates, but all chordates are not vertebrates. A very important line from the entire chapter. Besides the basic chordate character, vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three, or four chambers, kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation, and paired appendages may be fins or limbs. The subphylum vertebrata is further divided as follows. 4.2.11.1 Class Cyclostomata All living members of the class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws. Their body is devoid of scales and paired fins. Cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous. Circulation is of close type. Cyclostomes are marine but migrate for spawning to fresh water. After spawning, within a few days, they die. The larvae are, after metamorphosis, return to the ocean. Examples are Petromyzin or Lamprey and Myxin, that is hagfish. 4.2.11.2 Class Chondrichthys They are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endoskeleton. Mouth is located ventrally, notochord is persistent throughout the life. Gill slits are separate and without operculum. The skin of tusk containing minute plicoid scales, teeth are modified plicoid scales that are backwardly directed, their jaws are very powerful, these animals are predaceous. Due to absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. The heart is two-chambered with one auricle and one ventricle. Some of them have electric organs like torpedo and some possess poison sting like dragon. They are cold-blooded or poikilothermous animals, that is, they lack the capacity to regulate the body temperature. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization and many of them are viviparous. Example, scoliodon, that is dogfish, pristus, sawfish, charcaradon, that is great white shark, trigon, stingray. 4.2.11.3 Class Ostic Thighs it includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton. Their body is streamlined, mouth is mostly terminal. They have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side. Skin is covered with cycloid or tenoid scales. Air bladder is present which regulates the buoyancy. Heart is two chambered with one auricle and one ventricle. They are cold blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external. They are mostly oviparous and development is direct. Examples are marine exocetus or flying fish, hippocampus or seahorse, whereas freshwater is labio or roho, catla catla, clarius or magur, and aquarium fishes are beta that is flat fighting fish and pterophyllum that is angelfish. 4.2.11 Phoebia As the name indicates, amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats. Most of them have two pairs of limbs, the body is divisible into head and trunk. Tail may be present in some. The amphibian skin is moist without scales. The eyelids, eyes have eyelids. A tympanum represents the ear. Elementary canal, urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior. Respiration is by gills, lungs and through skin. Heart is three-chambered with two auricles and one ventricle. These are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. They are oviparous and development is indirect. Examples are Bufo, that is toad, rana, frog, hyla, tea frog, sorry, tree frog, salamandra, salamander, and ichthyopus, that is a limbless amphibia. 4.2.11.5 Class Reptilia As the name, class name refers to the creeping or crawling mode of locomotion. They are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and conified skin. Epidermal scales are skews. They do not have external air openings. Tympanum represents the ear. Limbs when present are two pairs. Heart is usually three chambered but four chambered in crocodiles. Please highlight this line four chambered in crocodiles while all other reptiles are three chambered heart. Reptiles are poikilotherms. Snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cards. Sexes are separate. 
fertilization is internal their oviparous and development is direct example are chilon that is turtle testudo tortoise chameleon tree lizard callot garden lizard crocodilus that is crocodile alligator alligator hemidactylus wall lizard and poisonous case snakes are naja cobra fangarus crate vipera viper 4.2.11.6 class ace the characteristic feature of ace are the presence of birds and most of them can fly except flightless birds like ostrich they possess beak the fore limbs are modified into wings the hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking swimming or clasping the tree branches skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail endoskeleton is fully ossified and the long bones are hollow with air cavities and called pneumatic bones The digestive tract of the bird are additional chambered the crop and the gizzard please note this point that both digestive system have extra structures called the crop and gizzard heart is completely four chambered they are warm blooded animals that is homeothermous and they are able to maintain a constant body temperature respiration is by lungs air sacs connected to the lungs supplement respiration sexes are separate fertilization is internal and their oviparous and development is direct examples are corvus or glow columba or pigeon cetacula or parrot struthi or ostrich pavo or peacock aptonodites or penguin neofron or vulture 4.2.11.7 class mammalia they are found in variety of habitats polar ice caps deserts mountain forests grasses and dark caves Some of them have adapted to fly or live in water. The most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk producing glands called mammary glands by which the young ones are nourished. They have two pairs of limbs adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming or flying. The skin of the mammals is unique in possessing hair. External ears or pinna are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. The heart is four chambered. They are homeothermous. Respiration is by lungs. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are viviparous with few exceptions and development is direct. Examples for oviparous mammalians are Ornithorhynchus or the platypus. Viviparous are Macropus that is kangaroo, Pteropus that is flying fox, Camelus camel, Macaca monkey, Rattus rat, Canis dog, Felis cat, Elephas elephant, Equus horse, Delphinus common dolphin. Planoptera that is blue whale, Panthera tigris that is tiger, Panthera leo that is iron. The salient and distinguishing features of all the phyla under the animal kingdom are comprehensively given in table 4.2. Please 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 go through this table very carefully as this is the briefing of the entire chapter and in case of the MCQs this also plays a very important role. Switching over to the summary the basic fundamental features with such as level of organization symmetry cells organization xylem segmentation nonochord etc have enabled us to broadly classify the animal kingdom besides the fundamental features there are many other distinctive characters which are specific for each phyla or class porifera includes multicellular organisms which exhibit cellular level of organization and have characteristic flagellated gonocytes the cylindrates have tentacles and bear nidoblast they are mostly aquatic sessile or free living The tenophores are marine animals with comb plates. The platyelminthes have flat body and exhibit bilateral symmetry. Parasitic forms show distinct structures of suckers and hook. Ascalminthes are pseudocelomates and include parasitic as well as non-parasitic roundworms. Annelids are metamorphically segmented animals with a true celom. The arthropods are the most abundant group of animals characterized by the presence of jointed appendages. Mollusks have a short body surrounded by an external calcareous shell. The body is covered with external skeleton made up of chitin. The echinoderms possess a spiny skin. Their most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system. The hemichordates are a small group of worm-like marine animals. They have a cylindrical body with proboscis, collar, and trunk. Phylum Chordata includes animals which possess a notochord throughout the life or during the early embryonic life. The other common features Observed in the chordates are dorsal hollow nerve cord and pair pharyngeal gill sets. Some of the vertebrates do not possess jaws or are agnatha, whereas some of them possess the jaws that is nathostomata. Agnatha is represented by the class Cyclostomata. 
They are most primitive chordates and are ectoparasites on fishes. Nathostomata has two superclasses, Pisces and Tetrapoda. Class Chondrichthyes and Nostichthyes bear fins for locomotion and are grouped under Pisces. The Chondrichthyes are fishes with cartilaginous endoskeleton and are maligned. Classes Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia have two pairs of limbs and thus are grouped under Tetrapoda. Amphibians have adapted to live on both land and water. Reptiles are characterized by the presence of dry and cornified skin. Limbs are absent in snakes. Fishes, amphibians and reptiles are poikilothermous or cold-blooded. Aves are warm-blooded animals with feathers on their body and forelimbs modified into wings for flying. Hind limbs are adapted for walking, swimming, poaching or clasping. Unique features of mammals are the presence of mammary glands and hairs on the skin. They commonly exhibit viviparity. So that's the end of the chapter. Till then, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. We'll see you again in the next one. Thank you.